Washington, D.C. is rife with surveillance structures designed to trick mobile phones into using fake networks. That's according to security experts who use special equipment to identify a number of spy telecom towers. RT's Gaine Chichikan has more. We are in one of the most spied-on cities in the world, Washington, D.C. Here, if you're walking near some powerful building, there's a good chance that your phone is being hacked. A German company came up with a specially outfitted smartphone called CryptoPhone, which can reportedly alert you when there's a surveillance device nearby. The Washington Post took a ride with an executive of the company that promotes the CryptoPhone, and they went to the Russian embassy to test the device. So here we're driving on the behind the, the Russian embassy. So we got the hit yesterday, uh, earlier today as we went down this little hill. Yeah, we pulled the Can we stop here? Oh, wait a second. You just got hit. So this AT&T phone just got full intercepted. They haven't they haven't decided to take over the channel yet, but they have now they've held your NZ long enough to where the baseband here says you need to be careful. But it's not just the Russian embassy that triggers alerts in the crypto phone. The company says in less than 2 days of driving through the region, they've detected signs of as many as 18 surveillance devices. They put out a map of the locations. It includes the area around the Supreme Court, where we are at the moment, the Capitol, FBI headquarters, different foreign embassies, a cluster of federal contractors around uh, Dulles International Airport. Those devices are called IMSI catchers. They trick mobile phones into thinking that they've logged on to legitimate cell networks, when in fact, the signals have been hijacked by this fake cell tower. They can be used by pretty much anyone with the right skills. It could be the U.S. government, foreign governments, criminals. Apparently, reasonably skilled hobbyists can build such an IMSI interceptor for less than $1,500. Uh, one of the things they can get is actually what you're saying over the phone and uh, can also get your identity, so who you are as you're passing by a range of one of these uh, one of these surveillance towers, and um, they can probably get full access to your phone to the extent that a legitimate cell phone network tower would be able to do, because that's what it's uh, spoofing. It's pretending to be a cell phone company. While the crypto phone's accuracy may not be 100 percent, hardly anyone doubts that Washington, D.C. is littered with cell phone data interceptors. And here's, of course, another location that made the crypto phone send alert signals the White House. And judging by the map of locations where their alert system went off, there's a high probability that it's the U.S. government watching you. But this does not exclude the possibility that private individuals also use the interceptors. In Washington, I'm going to check out RT. The curtain on surveillance efforts in the U.S. was also pulled back further by the founder of WikiLeaks in an interview with RT's Afshin Ritanzi. Julian Assange spoke about his new book in which he describes his meeting with the CEO of Google and the company's deep commitment to the U.S. government. The senior executive of Google was literally in bed with the State Department. We asked that Eric Schmidt provide us with the secret Patriot Act requests uh, that had been served on Google um, for, for, to coerce Google to give information to the U.S. intelligence. He, became very nervous and said that he couldn't uh, do that because that would be illegal. Uh, but um, I didn't realize at the time that the amount of, I thought the, the Google would be acting because it had been coerced um, rather than there was um, an element of voluntarism uh, in its associations with the, with the US military.